I'm the learner manager for creative and music, and I also teach on the A level music technology program. So, could you tell us a little bit about A level music technology in terms of the course content? Yeah, definitely. So, um, just to start off with, I think in a nutshell, it's key to understand that it's music technology, it's not music performance. So, there's absolutely no requirement to play an instrument. If you're interested in how music is recorded, and how music is made in terms of using technology, then this is the right course for you. Um, so hopefully that that kind of makes it a bit more accessible for, for people that are interested in music. Uh, and because of that, it works really well alongside some of the other creative courses that we do here, such as creative media or film studies, as the, the element of understanding how sound is recorded um, that obviously makes up such a big part of, of those subjects as well. Um, so there's four, four kind of main areas of the course really over the two years. There are two exams. One of them is uh, a listening exam whereby you have to listen to music and answer questions on it. Uh, another one is a, a more practical kind of assessment exam which is um, you'll be given little bits of sound and you have to edit it and you have to do stuff with it. And then there's two kind of coursework elements. One of them is a recording project. So that is where we will be teaching you how to use our recording studios and I'm in one of the recording studios at the moment here at the college. We've actually got three um, and as part of the A-level music technology course we'll be teaching you how to use the recording studio, how to use all of the microphones that we've got here, all of the equipment to record uh, full commercial band setup. So that's like drums, vocals, keyboards, bass guitars, electric guitars, everything um, and anything else that we can uh, we can record that we can find. So in the past we've done uh, recordings of orchestras where we've had orchestras come into the college and um, and we've recorded them as well. And then the, the second part of the coursework stuff is uh, a technology based composition. So this is where we teach you how to create sounds from scratch um, using synthesis. And then we also teach you how to use uh, sampling, which is where we take little snippets of different set records and, and kind of manipulate them and, uh, and create new music out of it. Uh, so that's in a nutshell really the whole so if years. I'm if I'm a year 11 student at the moment at school and I've not I'm not studying any sort of music would that stop me accessing the course no um but I need to make it clear that there's a there is a benefit a massive benefit to coming to this course having studied a BTEC in music technology at school okay. because it's going to give you that foundation uh, understanding however um, as long as you meet the overall entry requirements for this course um, which I know you have stipulated as, as part of everything else, um, but we are looking at five GCSEs, grade four and above. Um, and for a course like this, we're looking for, for one of those to be maths, definitely. Um, and I think so why, part, would, why do you need maths to be able to do music technology? Can you just explain that one? Yeah, I can do. So when we start getting into synthesis, which is mm -hmm. the, um, the part of kind of creating sound from scratch, there's there's quite a few technical elements to that, which is, um, very much rooted in physics and maths is obviously a big part of physics as well um, and I think the, uh, the 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 general link between maths and music is quite high I think you know mm -hmm. understanding how you uh, break down music into its individual beats and bars is is fractions and um, when we start looking at how you edit music and and how you manipulate and, and enhance music there's a huge amount of maths involved in that because we're working with decibel scales, we're working with ratios for compressors and all that kind of stuff. So that's why maths is quite important. Um, like I say, it's a benefit to have studied music coming into this course. And if you do play an instrument, again, that's a benefit, um, but they aren't absolutely essential. They are designed. So you don't need to be able to read music necessarily? No, no, not at all. No, no, not a component for this course. I think the Again, it's a benefit, but um, to come into this course, as long as you meet the overall entry requirements, you have an interest um, and a commitment to learning about how music is recorded and created using technology, um, then that those are the key things, really. What would you imagine a student progressing to then? So maybe I'm studying A-level maths, music technology and film studies what yeah. what would I be able to go on and do after that do you think where do your students go yeah so university is, is probably the most immediate first step mm -hmm. um, we do try and in, include uh, within the course itself quite a few trips and guest speakers um, 
and work experience opportunities related to the industry and that can help people understand really the the bigger picture of where they want to go um so we have trips to to recording studios so students can imagine right yes this is what i want to do i want to set up my recording studio um you mentioned film studies the the, the link between again music technology and the creative media and film study side is is it really important in employment as well because so much of the industry now is people merging sound and and video together in what they do uh, whether it's self-employed or working for other companies um and going off to university and studying uh, music production music technology sound engineering um it could be that you know alongside a level maths you might want to go into more of an acoustics kind of side and, and you know start to understand how sound works within spaces and you can see behind me we've got some of our acoustic treatment in this room to try and make it sound as, as good as possible and, and really understanding how all that works um a lot of our students will go off to university and that's locally whether it's wolverhampton it's birmingham or it's further afield leeds college of music manchester liverpool institute of performing arts down in london as well um so can I ask you, um, sorry, sorry Andy, to interrupt, can I ask you a little bit more of a topical question? So at the moment, the sort of music and performance industries had a real bashing, hasn't it, with COVID yeah. and it's obviously a real challenge. So what would you try and say to maybe a parent who might think, mm, do we really want to go for this industry at the moment? I think it's a, I think it's a real genuine um, question. I think it's a real genuine concern that parents are going to have. And, and what I would say is, when you look at the industry at the moment and you look at how music technology uh, has been affected, um, actually it's grown under the, the pandemic in the sense that now more than ever, people are looking at uh, ways of using um, technology either at the home or um, you know for events that now are online as opposed to in person. Um, people creating content for uh, for online purposes now and, and music technology plays a massive part in that so music synchronization for example where um, music is being matched to film to adverts and to um, tv programs that is a business that is, is still going on is still booming um, and i think it's from a, a live event perspective it's it it has definitely taken a hit but I think we will come out of this and as a, as an events industry I don't think there's anybody that is imagining a future in this country whereby people aren't wanting to produce music and aren't wanting to go to to gigs and it is a it, it is something that over the next few years I think when things start to open back up again and people start to you know show more confidence in in attending these large events people are absolutely you know dying to be getting back to in these kind of uh these environments um so it's, it's about investing for a future of people that are, are passionate about it and, and will be the next kind of workforce within that industry and i think adapting um and, and considering the online presence of uh, media and music i think is a really big part of that i also think at a fundamental level your a levels are about demonstrating a lot of skills aren't they to employers and music technology you've got to do a lot of work in teams haven't you yeah. uh, working with other people you've got to work with clients you've got to meet deadlines you've got to be organized creative those are exactly the yeah. kind of skills even if you've got no intention long term of going into the music industry per se mm. this is what i also say with our film students you're demonstrating lots of skills that employers and universities desire so it yeah. doesn't mean that you have to take music technology because you desperately necessarily want to go into the music industry it's something isn't it that is a, a mm. wonderful a level to enhance your skill set and i think you'll really enjoy it and it's yeah. you know it will stretch your kind of um creative skills but also there's other yeah, factors definitely. around it aren't there yeah if we're going to talk about the skills that come out of it i think the 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 ability to critically listen and analyze is massive and it be, it runs through all of the course. Um, the ability to, to not just be passive in the way that you, you know, listen and read things and, and really critique it and really analyze it. Um, I think there's there's massive benefit to the, the kind of practical elements and, and learning new skills. So, it, you know, this isn't about necessarily building on things that you've done before. You know, you will be learning things as part of this course that you have never even heard of before. Um, and, you know, actually being able to develop your understanding of, of how to create sounds from nothing, um, you know, you don't do that stuff at school. And I think it's 
it's about learning those new skills, learning new software that you've never used before, um, you know, learning how to use different hardware in the recording studios, um, you know, and producing really high quality commercial ready content. So a lot of our students, they'll be producing music here at the college and submitting it to BBC Introducing and it's being played on the radio on the weekends mm -hmm. and it is at that standard. So it's understanding, you know, what you can do with that. And, and I mentioned the BBC, you know, we've had some amazing guest speakers come in and talk about careers in the BBC um, and, and the routes into it. And, you know, we're not just giving students the skills and then letting them kind of fend for themselves. We are bringing the industry into the college. We are taking students out to um, recording studios to, you know, BBC introducing to local concert venues. Um, you know, we've taken students up to uh, have a tour of uh, Liverpool Arena um, and look at the events industry as well and the crossover between you know that kind of stuff so mm. you know we're kind of showing students where the paths are and obviously when something kind of sparks your interest and you've got the talent for it that's where the hard work comes in and, and you know they can make their own kind of path. So the final bit is that we do your full-time vocational music route don't we yeah. but we're sort of in we've introduced the a-level music technology really for students who still potentially want to have that mix mm -hmm. um, and potentially a breadth or the different yeah. type of learning isn't it so yeah. it's um it's allowing students to have that choice really isn't it so if you just explain the difference briefly between the vocational yeah. and the a-level that would be great yeah i think it's a really important point so the vocational obviously would be the full timetable of music and at the moment we the, the the bulk of what we do is a combination of music performance and music technology um, we do allow students to specialize in just the technology side um, if they don't play an instrument but it is the full timetable so it's the only thing you study we go into all areas of the music industry whether it's composition uh, obviously performance using your instrument uh, on your own in groups we go out and perform at, at local venues we also introduce the, the concert staging and production side of it so all of the kind of uh, the elements of live sound setting up sound desks putting on events promoting events um, and then in addition to the kind of uh, the recording and the practical side of things we also have a huge music industry component where it's really going in depth about how the music industry works now the a-level course is is a third of the time mm. so it's focused very much on some really key skills and principles and very much the kind of the technical and the analytical side of it which i guess works really well within an a-level kind of program um so the a-level program really focuses on the the recording elements the composition using technology elements um and the listening skills and the and the critical um kind of analysis skills so you can kind of see that there's there's what you'd expect of more time doing music you'd be doing more of the music stuff um, but I think for someone who, who might not necessarily play an instrument, someone who's interested in uh, in the creative kind of sector or like I say maths, we were talking about um, maths, physics, you've got creative media, you've got film studies um, and, you know, there are other A-levels that this would work well alongside. But those are the main science, ones. I think, would go well yeah. as well, wouldn't it? So students doing that with yeah so we, we tend to have a, a couple of routes really don't we we've got the maths physics computer science students who yeah. do music and then as you say we have the creative side as well so i think there's yeah. that really nice choice then in terms of what students can pick yeah great thank you very much